Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me with another Less of Me with NSNG uh, video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video and I'm going to unfortunately talk about a subject I don't like to talk about. Um, but I made a post of uh, a progress picture and I, uh, on, on, on Facebook and got a lot of people reaching back out to me about this topic and that is excess skin. I've been trying to avoid it. Uh, for a long time uh, it is a fact of my life i can't stand it i hate it um, and what i'll do it all fat people do and i'll make a joke out of it so uh when i um first thing, realized i had a skin issue uh, I, I didn't even know there would be even an issue is when i had gastric bypass way back when and got to a a, a pretty good lower weight and uh wanted to try to start exercising for the first time and uh so I start going for a jog and I, I hear a weird noise, have my headphones on and I, oh well, no, no big deal. So I start jogging again and I keep hearing, I was like, oh, awesome, awesome. Being a fat guy, you're used to people mocking you and making fun of you. So I'm positive there's somebody uh, watching me from one of the houses doing a sarcastic clap. And then uh, I was like, whatever, I'm just going to tough this out. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. So I start running again and I keep hearing clap and, and uh, I start running a little more and I realize if I held my stomach down, uh, it would stop. So the, the clapping was me. My uh, loose skin was my own cheering section, unfortunately. And that is when I realized that excess skin is real and excess skin sucks. Uh, it's gross, it's embarrassing, it's life. Uh, what else am I going to do? So I just want to be truthful on this, uh, this channel and just tell you the ins and outs of what I do, my life, the life of being overweight and losing weight. Um, so that's the reality of it. Uh, basically, um, a lot of people, a lot of people think in the pictures I post that there's not a skin issue. There is, I don't have the nerve to show you what that looks like yet. Maybe one day, but I'll spare your guys' eyes. It's kind of like a basset hound. If you ever imagine a basset hound all sad and droopy, that's kind of what my, my torso looks like. Uh, yes, I know it's super hot, but that's truth. Uh, it's almost like an apron, like a skin apron. It's annoying. Uh, clothes fit incorrectly. Uh, they, they, um, or will be loose everywhere else because you have to wear a bigger size compensating for that space right there. Um, and I'm, my family, my bloodline uh, is cursed with not having a butt. So uh, with compound not having a booty and having to get bigger pants, uh, you got always like a little droopy drawer saggy thing on your, your rear end uh, because you need a bigger size than what you truly wear because of this excess skin apron deal you got going on. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, I'm looking over here at my notes. Uh, working out is an ordeal. You have to get confining, like a like a spandex undergear to hold things down. Uh, I've had a lot of women say it would be equivalent to having to wear a sports bra. Well, imagine that all over. Uh, it's kind of a violent thing if you try to run and you don't have everything strapped down because you run, you take a step, and just imagine things are coming back down hard uh, kind of knocks the wind out of you a little bit and is super uncomfortable and it makes for a symphony of noises which is embarrassing uh, <laughs> one one thing I noticed doing yoga if I'm not strapped down uh, again this is gross and this is embarrassing but whatever who cares right let's just make fun of each other uh, so uh, air will get caught under loose skin and what happens when you get air to escape it makes a fart sound so if you sometimes you'll make that sound and what are you going to do explain a whole situation it's just easier to say i, I crap myself don't worry about it uh so the underclothes that's a way to take care of it um uh, there's a thing, I've not had any luck with it, but uh, with extreme fasting, and I'm not saying to do this, but I've read about something called autophagy, I believe it's called, uh, A-U-T-O-F-A-G-Y, I believe that would spell autophagy, 
Um, and then collagen peptides, something you can add to your diet. I, the fact of the matter is, is I've been so far up and down the spectrum in the scale that I, it's never going to recover properly. So maybe if someone was not as uh, severe of a case as me, uh, it would be a possibility. It's not happening with me. Uh, the rather than the funnier side is the grosser side. Some people do get like sores and um, rashes and everything like that. Uh, I don't know if I attribute this to the better diet, but when I had gastric back when I would get a little bit of these skin issues, irritation issues, but uh, I haven't had that be the case here. A lot of people use uh, like a baby powder, gold bond, that helps with it, but I've noticed that lotion seems to do better. Again, gross, but truth. Uh, and will I get it fixed? Uh, I would like to. It's not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, and if I have the money to pay for it, I have a million other things I could do prior to that. Uh, it is an inconvenience. It is uncomfortable. It is annoying. The clothes don't fit right. It's a lot of vanity. Uh, but again, I can't say that. If I had twenty to $25,000 sitting around, that would be my first thing to go to. Uh, you know, it's my fault. I did it to myself. I kind of deserve it. You know, I, I, I'm always the hardest person on myself. But that's kind of where I come from. Uh, I am doing these YouTube videos uh, in a perfect world. Ultimately, I'm doing it to help encourage other people and let others know that if I could do it, you could do it. I always say that. But I'm also doing it, and I've mentioned before, that um, in a perfect world, I would get some sort of recognition and it would be worth a surgeon's time to help out with or do the surgery. Uh, but I don't have enough likes uh, to even be considering that, but maybe one day down the road. So, um, you know, if you have questions, if you want to discuss and talk about it, you want to reach out to me privately, that's fine too. Uh, I'm uh, maybe too open of a book. But I, I just want to be honest and forthright in everything about my journey. Uh, and I'm sure people out there are experiencing or have experienced the same thing. Maybe they have ideas or tips. Insurance has never been an option to cover it. They always decline it. It's not a necessity to them. But uh, you can email me, uh, lessofmewithnsng at yahoo.com. Yeah. Uh, check out the Facebook group page. It's growing slowly, uh, Rebuilding with Bacon. I have Twitter and Instagram, which I believe you can find me at my name and the screen name, which is Scott King, and also Less of Me with NSNG. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, you have things that you want me to talk about, I'm more than happy to talk about. Uh, I hope my next video is the video where I get to my lowest adult weight ever, where I beat gastro bypass. I'm like three pounds away, and this is the most stubborn three pounds I've ever experienced, it seems like. It'll tease me, and then it'll stop and get a little closer and tease me. Hopefully within the next week, less, I'll be posting that video. So anyhow, uh, please, again, as always, share. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe let other people know about it i i just truly want to reach out to people and uh you know i was actually thinking today how cool of a world would be or opportunity it would be to have this be something i could do for a living you know reaching out help, helping other people that were in my situation and i mean i was thinking man it would be so cool how fun would it be to be able to be like a certified ddp yoga instructor but um i'm getting way ahead of myself it's been kind of wheels been turning and thinking of uh, some cool opportunities that just more fulfilling, right? And just uh, to get out to other people and really encourage other people. Uh, but uh, anyhow, sounds like I'm rambling. Maybe I'm just getting tired and you don't want to go through all that rabbit hole stuff. So anyhow, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I hope to be post posting that video of uh, my lowest weight coming up. Take care and uh, God bless y'all.